In this video, we will use Barba's global hook, enter, and we will change the background color before the transition happens. So we'll soften up, we'll remove the flashing of the white background on the page transition. To avoid the white background showing up, we can change the body CSS color or background color to the correct value. So let's first get access to the body selector document.query selector body and then we want to get access to the data background which is specified on our containers okay so each of our headers has a custom data attribute background set we want to get access to this hex value and apply it to the correct css variable okay both pages have different value and we want to get access to it and apply it to the body that's why we started with getting the body then we can use a global hook so barba.hooks.before will run before any transition so this is a global hook that will run before any transition defined in the barba init and before our transitions we want to get access to the data attribute we can call it background and we have access to a data object inside of any hook inside of any hook whether it's the global one or any of the inside of transitions we have access to this data object from there we can get the current container look at the data set and get the background value okay so the, this will refer to the data background and will give us this hex value that we can then apply to the body so body style dot set property and now we can define the property of the correct css variable in our case this is page background so hyphen hyphen page background and pass it the right background color we'll override the default white background and let's have a look at the app dot scss that's where the page background was set originally to white and then applied as a background color value. So that's the value we try to override to the correct color. Alrighty, so hope that makes sense. The before hook runs, as I said, before every transition. It's called the global hooks. There is also after, if you want to do something after your transition, so you can use these global hooks before or after and in both of them you have access to the data object okay so now let's have a look at it in the browser this is much smoother we are setting the page background value to be the correct blue background so we're overriding the default white at the start of our transition page background is white by default and when we click on it Let's pause it in the dev tools first. Let's put a breakpoint inside of the global hook. Now we should stop it just before the animation starts. The page background is still white because we've paused it before it kicks in. But I wanted to show you what the data object contains. Okay, so the data passed into this before and after and any other hooks contains the current, next, and trigger. And what we are after is to get the current container. We want the data set, so that's where we are getting all the custom data attributes from the container. And here is the background, okay? So that will give us the background blue, the blue background color that we then applying to the CSS variable on the body, HTML element. Okay, so that's where, that's how it's all hanging together. That's how we are changing the background color of the page before every transition. And especially, this is especially handy for fade, fade transition or cross-fade transitions if you don't want to see the original page background. And it softens up a little bit of the fading transition. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Now let's change the duration to 1.2 seconds. See it again, we're fading out and fading in the 
new page. Okay, so that's how we're using custom CSS variables and the global barba hook to set the right page background color.